this goes through the three M's of our uh, product, the materials, mechanisms, and manufacturing. So as an example, the blades shows the various phases of the blades. We uh, laser cut that blade, and then we do a surface grind, both sides on it, and then we'll mill the tang on it for the accuracy and consistency and the, and the feel, the smoothness of the mechanism. And then most materials that will then go off for heat treat. And when it comes back, we'll, uh, we'll bevel grind it. This, these two plates here are called chuck plates, and that's what we use to bevel the blade. The blade will be positioned on a pivot, and then on, it gets a stop, and then this will go into a grinder, and it'll run the bevel, a uh, flat bevel, or a false edge. And then it'll be on the back side. Of course, the material is now gone, so they'll have a, a nest where it'll support that blade. And it'll go through uh, a, sec a secondary a bevel operation, so both sides are done at that time. And then finally, we'll go through a, a sand roll on most, on most blades where we'll uh, sand the back and spine of the blades. So at, by that point, every single surface on that blade has been treated, so it's a fully finished product. And then about uh, half or a little more of our blades will then go into a, a ceramic coating process, whereas they'll uh, will be blasted and go through the, uh, the ceramic coating. And on those mechanisms that have a, any kind of an axis lock, any kind of a tang, will then remove that material again so you won't affect the mechanisms to this that type of thing. So quite a bit of processes go into the manufacturing of the blade. Some of these other examples here are things that we do for, for instance, backspacers. These are all titanium backspacers, and we cut them on our laser in-house. Uh, we'll do the anodizing in-house, the finishing, all that's in-house. Uh, ha handles, aluminum, uh, these are 6061. In this case, we do 7075 and some other models. They're all uh, machined out of billet, aluminum. And they'll either be anodized or ceramic coated as well. Uh, we do a lot of G10 uh, handles. These are done on some vacuum work holding equipment, so we can do all these features and a lot of detail on this. Uh, a few of our models will do a uh, Norel or a Grivery type uh, hold the handle if we want some specific application for color or for grip or for some other applications for, for water or for uh, uh, visuals, that kind of thing on that. Uh, of course, this is an example of our valley saw, uh, a Ford Model 42, of course. Uh, these are cast, and then we do all hand finishing in-house, as well as all the machining of the, the pivots and that, uh, those areas for consistency. Uh, probably lastly, uh, the handle manufacturing of uh, the, the Shane Siebert, the 755, is a, has a G10 handle on one side and a titanium. It's a liner lock, frame lock, of course. And we've uh, chosen on this to machine this, as you can see, just out of billet. We found the most accuracy to be able to do that. So quite a bit of work goes into the, the manufacturing of a, of a knife like the Shane's uh, there. So we'll do the, the fully machine the uh, G10 and then we'll blast it. Uh, the G10 will be fully machined as well. And then we'll do a, uh, a G10 onlay onto that. So those are some examples of the, of the processes we use in house. The only thing as shown here is not is the probably the liners, titanium liners that we, uh, as you can see, we laser cut out. We leave those in a, this uh, treatment here, and then we can surface grind them before we knock them out and do the finish treatment and anodize them. Uh, we uh, now have capability for stamping, so we do fine blanking on those as well. You know, as well as uh, all. The, this just shows probably more so the mechanism than, uh, than the manufacturer. This is the insides of an Infidel 3300. Is that your most complicated internals? That's probably the, yes, it has the one most, uh, has the most uh, complex as well as most precision required. Uh, all heat treated internals, the, the accuracy of that uh, slot determines the, the uh, reliability of the, of the mechanism. So that's very critical as well as all the, these other features are all uh, going through the timing and the accuracy and the strength of that. It's, it's buried in one layer down in there, but there's the mechanism that, that latches the blade when it comes out is, is in this area as well and, and uh, prom uh, promotes the strength of the, of the product. What differentiates a Benchmade from a lot of products is a lot of the materials that we use are premium materials. The, manufacturing processes, all the machining that we do on this, all the grinding, the accuracy of those, it all promotes to the 
after seeing the quality of our product. So the, the processes have to be held very tight to, to uh, create that kind of reliability and quality. Excellent. Thank you for taking the time to take us through it. Thank you.